up YouTube what's up everybody tapping in to all my subscribers to the people who just tapping in for the first time welcome 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 what it do I'm tapping in cuz it's that time of the year y'all it's December and I'm just reflecting on this past year first things first like this year went by so freaking fast. Who was surprised? Because time seemed like it's going faster and faster. So at the end of the day, we can't change that. But what we can change is what we do with, with our time. So one thing I, I, I make sure I do, I use my time wisely and I live in the present moment as much as I can as much as I'm conscious about it. So yeah, just reflecting on this past year, it has been not too bad of a year. Like I'm just, I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful. Y'all already know me with the gratitude. Like that's, that's obvious, I'm grateful. But this year is one of the years where I actually fully took a leap into what I truly wanted to do in life. I really took that step from behind the chair. I really put a stamp on it. I really put a date on it. I really left my six-figure business. I'm going to say it was six figures. Not on paper, but it pretty much was six figures. Um, but I left my six-figure business um, to truly be free and explore all of my talents and gifts and actually just live with more purpose and uh, see what else I could do in life, you know? And everybody thought that I was just playing. Now, mind you, this is my second time quitting hair from getting behind a chair. So you got to know I'm for real this time. The first time I didn't have like a real deal full out plan i was just ready to go one of the things that had scared me was when i had developed tendonitis in my right hand that scared the mess out of me and i'm like i just didn't want to have to be forced out of it um it just it just made me realize how it it was you know it's a detriment it eventually is a detriment to your health like if you're constantly in this same position constantly over and over and over for forever and i've been doing it for 20 years so i'm like as much as i love doing hair as much as i'm so blessed to have the talent i'm so grateful for all of my clientele i'm so grateful for the business that i built like i'm grateful for all the fruits of my labor all the things that i've gotten from me the materialistic things the connections like it's a beautiful it's a beautiful career do not get me wrong like i am not discouraging anyone from getting into their career because that took me a long way in life doing hair took me a long way in life i will say do not let that be your final plan like have a actual a realistic way to be able to step from behind the chair and be able to still be purposeful and still be able to use your knowledge but not actually have to work so hard and not have to continue to trade your time for money and that's that's where i was like you know i really struggled with that in and plan like i i was trying different things you know i really i really did have the dream of having a salon and stuff like that but I knew that I had to keep building and I, I went from having a booth to having a small suite to having a a, a um, double suite, which was like a mini salon. And the next step was to have a salon, but I, I couldn't, well, not saying that I won't ever do it because I still have a love for hair. I still plan on having my hands in the business. I just have to find a way to make it make sense for me um as a professional and as a you know what i'm saying an expert really to be honest um if i do say so myself 
having that exit plan and like what i was trying to do with my salon with my mini salon i wanted to take someone up on my wing and pass on my skills and knowledge and give them the clientele and actually i did get a chance to do that not to the extent that i really wanted to because i didn't have time but to tend to my clients and actually try to build that like it was it was tough and also with my other life maintaining relationships social life etc etc other businesses whatever it, it became exhausting and i'm like god like i have so many other talents i know for sure i do i know that i'm good with my hands i know that i'm a creative i know that i'm a free spirit i know that this is not my ending story i do not want me being a hairstylist to be my final story even though that is a big thing that's a huge thing like that's um that's a big platform being a hairstylist is a huge platform whether you know it or not like we are we wear a lot of hats uh being in that position and um i mean it's it's it is a, a missionary it is purposeful to the community and stuff like that but I don't want to sacrifice my body and my health to be purposeful. And and true enough, it may be things I may do in life that may not be the most healthy to my body or whatever. Or, you know, if I continue to do it, it it'll be unhealthy. But, like, I'm the type of person that can't just stay in the spot for forever and i stayed in this spot for 20 years i took a break for six months but 20 years ever since i was 13. anywho i took that leap of faith finally and i i kept going forward i did not look back and you know when the first time when i um when i took that hiatus when i thought i retired or whatever you know i ended up looking back because i was in a dark place i had you know I didn't have no kind of influence around me to help me to push forward. I was my only motivation. So when I didn't have motivation for myself, then I had to look for other people and other people had kind of brought me backwards, which was cool because everything happened how it's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like I had some unfinished business at the, at the shop. I had some unfinished business and that was a beautiful time too, to, experienced that those years i think that was about another two years that i did but i it, i still had this itch to move around and even with me living in dallas i stayed in dallas for 13 years and if i'm being totally honest i never had a super excitement about dallas ever since i moved to dallas i i did before because it was something way bigger than you know where i came from it was way different you know i had we had so much opportunity and stuff like that but when i moved to dallas nothing really just super excited me i i, I made it work though i made it fun i made the best of it um but i always wondered if i should have went to houston um and different things like that and then once i um changed my lifestyle i wanted to move to ghana so i was ready to leave the country ready for like ready to do away with all these materialistic things and live off little to no money and like a, a, a great sustainable lifestyle where i'm just you know living my alkaline lifestyle because you don't really need a lot of money to survive it's just like the place that we live in and the circumstances that we in that makes us have to be in this rat race i'm sick of the, i'm over the rat race i'm over the rat race and i'm a grinder and i'm i'm naturally a grinder and i'm, I'm gonna always be that but that survival mode i'm over it so soft life me 2023 was a real thing it is a real thing and when i say soft life a lot of people think soft life a lot of people think straight relationship or like i see a lot of men saying that a man ain't gonna get bring you that soft life and true enough it may be women that think that but that's not what i think about in soft life yep i do think about the relationship 
soft life too. I want I, I I claim that too. When I say soft life, I mean being a hard working lazy man, working smarter, not harder, not working all these hours to survive, living a sustainable lifestyle. Basically where I won't have no rent, living rent free, like you know what I'm saying? Things of that sort. Living where I can just be free. That's soft life to me. And I did that wholeheartedly. Like, this year, even though I I did some things that I never thought I never seen myself doing, but it felt good and I challenged myself. I put myself out there and it was so cool. Like I said I was gonna do it and I did it. I didn't do everything that I said I was gonna do. I didn't do everything that I wrote out. I didn't do all of that. Cause you know, sometimes you can write out, you can have all the ideas in the world. You can have the plan, you can have everything ready, set, go. And you can take that action. But sometimes it be that, that one piece that is different. It's different cause you never felt this feeling before. You never seen nobody do it. Never nobody around you do it before. You, you paving, you setting fire to a path that never has been set fire to. Like, you know what I'm saying? You paving away on a path that never been paved. So it's new. And so once you get there and you finally got to take that step, oh my gosh, that's the scary part. That's the scariest part. Once you finally get out of your head about it and be like, all right, let's do it and just dive in that water, then it's really not as bad as you think it is. Long story short, I was able to dive in that water. You know what I'm saying? And I, I did, you know what I'm saying, do some of the things that I, I wanted to do this year. So I'm proud of myself for that. I also shed it, shed it. I'm shedding skin that I didn't even know that I was going to shed. Oh my gosh. Like, I knew that I was closing out a cycle last year. Um, as far as like, you know, my relationship life. Because, um, you know what I'm saying, I did it all wrong. I ain't gonna say I did it all wrong, but it's been a hell of a journey when it comes to my relationships and how I've chosen my partners and all of that. And with me being in the limelight and me being a person that I am, a lot of people have seen that. I know that it was time for me to do something different. So this year, I truly, truly, truly shedded that, got rid of those old habits, those, um, those choices that I was making. I actually figured out <coughs> I got to the root of it and figure out okay what I need to do to make better choices and to get um better results like come on this is my life like we only get one of them so yeah that's one of the things that I did this year like I actually had great discernment like I actually had a clear intuition and actually trusted my intuition i knew my intuition like that was great that was pretty great like um another thing that i had to like really practice this year like i've been big on faith for a while big on faith but this year i had to act on faith like no other I knew that I had faith in God. I knew that God is a faithful God. I knew that God is gonna always going to come through for me and stuff like that. But I always been a grinder too. I always had some type of control or felt like I had some type of control or had to do something to feel like I had some type of control. So this year, I had to release all of that control because now i'm in a very vulnerable state because i didn't quit my bread and butter i didn't quit my bread and butter i didn't went back home to my mama house you know what i'm saying where my mama like what in the world like why would you quit your job in a time like this i said to hell with dallas like to hell with everything to hell with bill collectors all type of stuff like to hell with uh, everything that that was not that just not fitting for me there's any kind of negativity anything to hell with it like by anything like i let it go so but um so i had i was stripped of everything and it's just like me and god and nature you know what i'm saying and and i was able to come home and slow down and but like i really got deep into my meditation practice and that actually led me to practicing more on 
allowing and releasing and releasing control and allowing and that right there is a lot and in that like you gotta have faith so that's just practicing faith that's basically another a deeper practice of faith because you actually having faith because you ain't got nothing else but faith like I, I didn't stress about nothing like I it's so many things and I may come out and speak out about it later on but still that I'm dealing with this uh that has been going on this whole year that I could be stressing I could have been stressing this whole year I could have been walking around down I could have been you know what I'm saying had all these side stories but I didn't you know um I stayed I stayed positive this whole year I remained faithful I kept the faith and so many blessings came my way like I'm grateful I still got my car y'all I'm still surviving like I got a glow like I'm straight I'm straight y'all I'm on the podcast y'all I'm running my business like I'm steady elevating with my business find the alkaline y'all make sure y'all go check out my website find the alkaline.com I got a free guide on how to um get your chakras aligned y'all make sure y'all go download that I'm put the link in the bio because y'all need to y'all need to tap in on my business because I'm I didn't I didn't what I didn't put pressure on my, on my entrepreneurial skills you know what I'm saying so find the alkaline is man remember the name remember the name I'm, I'm just so grateful y'all my husband came and found me in 2023 it's been a good year it's been a good year as and, and like i was saying about the podcast i'm on the morning tea off gp we own the real underground radio station out here local locally based in little rock arkansas crazy following y'all tap in you know what i'm saying if you can get your brand business out there your music out there i'm i have a platform now that i can help put other people out there also by putting my stuff out there or whatever so y'all tap in with me man i appreciate y'all for tapping with me on this journey being with me and um seeing it through and just stay tuned because it's only up from here y'all it's only up y'all know i don't give up i don't give in i'm resilient 2024 man i'm i'm coming all the way harder man i didn't gave it all i got all my good karma is coming because i know i put in all the work i put in all good energy like, i ain't never I ain't, I ain't i ain't never tried to cross nobody out here so i know that everything that's coming to me right now is coming back tenfold it's coming back tenfold all my blessings is coming back tenfold i appreciate y'all y'all like this video comment tell me something ask me something Tell me what you'd like to hear more of or just drop an emoji or something. Let me know you're fooling with me, that you're cool with me. I'm growing my following. Tell your people to follow me or whatever. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share the video and then tap into the next video. I'm out.